asking man to live by reason and reason alone, aren't you asking man to live by bread alone? In other words, isn't there a spiritual impulse and need that people have that it will always be there? And if you try to suppress it, then people will try to substitute it, uh, which Friedrich Nietzsche said would, the substitute would be the will to power, which led to national socialism and communism. So isn't it better that we have these Christian mystical beliefs as opposed to the gulag or genocide? Well, I mean, that's like asking, is the Inquisition better than the gulag? I don't know. Is it? No, the is, issue is... Wait, wait, wait. It, wait. Is well, it, but is that's, what, that's what taking the one idea, like the power lust thing, as you mentioned, so it's a logical extreme, and taking Christianity a logical extreme. So you have to compare apples to apples, and if you're going to compare them, then you have to compare them. What Christianity really leads to, really leads to, is an inquisition. What no, those no, no, ideas no, no, no. really lead to is the gulag. Now, let me, let me address the spirituality question. Um, objectivism does not preach materialism. Morality is not materialistic. Morality is an issue of consciousness. It is an issue of spirit. But that, you know, but we, and we do not preach anti-emotions. I mean, quite the contrary. I mean, look at me talk. <laughs> we are not robots, right? We believe in emotions. We advocate for emotions. Because, you know, happiness, uh, you know, you experience life through your emotions. But we claim that, you know, emotions are consequence of ideas. They're not a primary. They're not something that you put as the beginning. They're your experience based on the ideas that you hold. They're automatic evaluations of, of events based on prior thinking. So we're very spiritual in that sense. It's also true that there are many avenues for people to experience those kind of emotions. I believe that art is, uh, is one way in which we do that, by experiencing art. But of course, you know, today we have no art, so, you know, or, or very, almost no art is being produced today, so we're, we're very poor and therefore we look for substitutes. But uh, there, is, there, there is nothing in reason, there's nothing that objectivism uh, advocates, and there's nothing in advocating that reason that leaves any, any human need um, uh, unfulfilled. Because reality is rich with opportunities for us to experience, you know, every, anything, anything imaginable. But to advocate for something that, where there's no evidence for it, uh, it, it's completely, it's completely random and um, arbitrary. That is supposed to fill me with something that wasn't there before. I, I well, don't get again, it. Again, that's faith, and you use that's faith my as the pejorative. It, absolutely, I, because but it, because it has no role to play in human life. Your ideas of this scientific world and logic that would eventually stamp out the, the spiritual need, that's not a, a new idea, they replace, and it hasn't happened yet. They replace the spiritual ideas, and indeed, well, it isn't a new idea, but it is a new idea in terms of presenting a consistent philosophy that advocates for that. That is brand new. Nobody's done it before. And according to objectivism, your spirit or your soul is your mind, the thing within you that thinks, that judges, that makes decisions. So objectivism is profoundly spiritual in the sense that it's profoundly dedicated to the man's mind, to the rational mind, and all the things that the rational mind achieves. <clears throat> and we view, say, what would be viewed as materialistic, the, a businessman running a business, Bill Gates running Microsoft. We view that as a profoundly spiritual activity because it takes the best within the person. It takes his rational mind to run that business. And there is no, there's nothing else. There's no mystical intuitions and so on. So we reject that as spiritual. Well, again, I think you're wanting man to live by bread alone. And it hasn't happened yet. And we'll see if it happens. We want man to live by reason alone. <laughs> yeah. Well, call it what you will. <laughs>